This isn't an ordinary breakout trading strategy where I give you some examples of it actually working in the market. And then when you go and do it live, you only enter fake out breakouts and you keep getting burnt. That's right. This isn't just some other dumb YouTuber regurgitating some other strategy he heard from his friend or from YouTube. This is actually a method I developed myself using my core methodologies. I use this on a day-to-day -day basis. I developed this method with some of my friends and now it is profitable in the long run. So strap on your strap on because after I teach you this, you're going to make the market your best. That's right, boys. It's Hunter with Hunter FX back again, AKA the MVP of MT4, the master of markets, the guru of whatever. Make up your own. Um, we're gonna dive into something really powerful, so I'm just gonna jump into it. Just make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can learn some more later on, and hit the like, because this is really valuable stuff. All right, first I'm gonna show you what a normie, a regular retail trader would go about in a breakout trading strategy. And this is probably what you've heard before, is you see a high, and let's just skip through, and what the normal person would say is, let's put a, let's put a line here, and then when we break out of it, we're gonna enter. And we're gonna put our stop below the previous low or something like that. I'm not actually sure what they would say, but I've looked at this. Okay, so first of all, you could have gotten burnt there. You could have gotten burnt there if it just faked you out, depending on where your stop was. But here we go. Again, you would have gotten burnt here. If you put your stop below that low, you would have gotten burnt. Um, if we keep going here, there's another fake out here again, and you're getting burnt, comes back up. So you see how it burnt you here, it burnt you there, burnt you here. Um, it's really not valuable. Um, and I'm going to show you how we can actually break out like a professional trader and not a retail Dumbo getting slaughtered like the pigs they are so what we're gonna do first actually is I'm gonna look at Euro USD here it's been in a very solid uptrend you can see a bunch of my my lines and stuff here um, just from from me actually trading this uptrend with breakout trading strategies um, but as you could see you know you would you would think that you would just enter once it breaks out of these tops things like that that's not actually right you know some people would put their stop right below and then they would get wicked out the most important thing we want to first watch out for in this breakout trading strategy is we need to ma manipulate price sounded like porky pig there for a second mani mi 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 <laughs> um, manipulate price before we go into the breakout so as you can see here here is a low that we had a swing low a previous swing low and um, and it's not super clear in this example but I'll find another one uh, but you sweep the swing low you manipulate and you stop people out and then we go for the breakout and then that's when we look for the breakout so these tops here you could see if you did want to classify this as the top of the range and then break out here or break out here, it doesn't matter. What's important is we manipulated these lows first. And so I've just gone and actually jumped the time frame here so you guys can see a little bit better. Um, so this is the manipulation, the sweep below, and then we start sweeping to the upside. And after we break out of this level that brought us down to these lows, we can enter long here and as you can see it works out really well and obviously your stop in this case it's not going to be tight because it's quite wide we're going to put our stop actually at the origin of the move to the top here so it's a little bit wide actually and this isn't actually going to be a best trade to take because it's only 2r but hopefully you're seeing the point we can jump through and look at a couple different examples so this is 
uh, the other one here where it swept this previous low just with one wick there uh, and then we started breaking up to the upside now most people are gonna say you need to break out of this top range in order to confirm it to be a breakout this is the second thing I want to make clear no you don't actually have to wait that long you can actually enter a little bit earlier now what we want to look for is the move that brought us to the low. So here's the move that brought us to the low. If you look at it, here's the candle of a consolidation range before and the move that brought us to the low. So if we want, we can actually wait for it to break out of here and we'd actually be able to enter right there instead of here. So it's actually quite a bit better if we want to put our entry, our entry would be on this candle there with a stop below and then you're targeting whatever you're targeting. Let's say we're targeting up here. So that's a four hour trade, right? Um, versus if we were to wait until here and then put our stop below. Now it's a two hour trade. So you've literally doubled your profit simply by this little itsy bitsy amount, right? That's so minuscule look for other examples here guys this is another example of it manipulating price before so here's our range you can kind of see just in this purple box right and what it's done is it's come up swept all the stops out and then we've come right back down right now where we're we gonna have to break out of probably the bottom of this box and then we can enter here there's not really a better place to exit, to enter rather, um, as this is this is all one move, right? So you'd have to wait for this to break, right? That one there. And so this isn't really that much better. You still would have entered on the same point, but you can see how it's working here. It's manipulating and then we go for the breakout. If we don't wait for that manipulation, the problem is that it could easily be the manipulation right so you know what I mean by that we could be waiting for a breakout to the upside here and then when we see it break out to the upside then come right back down it could continue back down so what we need to look for let's look back at this other example because sometimes it's not going to be all in one candle right so this if we waited for a breakout for the downside here on that on that wick and we waited for the close and then we entered short this is what you know 99 percent of breakout traders are going to try to do and they'll put their stop up here or wherever and then try to go to the downside and they're going to get burnt because this is the manipulation this time the next thing we want to make sure oh and by the way guys on these um, the levels that are bringing us to the low, this is how I'm determining trend. And I'm going to link with um, a card up here. And you're going to be able to watch. It's a three-part series of how you can determine trend. And you can determine these levels that they need to break. Um, and it's really important stuff for price action-based trading. So I really recommend you watch that. It's quite long. It's three parts. Um, but it's going to completely change the way you look at markets. Um, so the next thing that we want to make sure we do with breakout trading is we're trading the trend, right? So you got you got three things here. You got you got to trend trade the trend. You have to wait for a manipulation on one side so that you aren't the manipulation, right? Because it's so unlikely for it to manipulate this side, come up here, manipulate this side and then go back down. You know what I mean? If it, if it bounced down like this, manipulation, manipulation, it's very unlikely that it'll do that. But it's very likely that it'll do this, right? Just because we need that liquidity in order to fill the orders. So manipulation, trend, and we get to enter a little bit earlier when you use the, it, when you break out of the level that brought us to the low. So right here, you get to enter earlier than versus here. Um, you don't have to enter on the top and again watch the video um, and then you can understand what I'm actually talking about in there um, it's a little bit 
more compli complicated than I'm making it out to be right now, uh, but you'll understand after that video. Next thing, guys, join the Discord. I'm doing, uh, I'm posting all my my trades there so you guys can follow along. I'm a professional Forex trader and um, you guys can just follow along for free. We're having lots of, lots of fun talking and, and whatnot. Um, and uh, what else? Let me know what kind of trading you like. Range trading, trend trading, breakout trading. Post a comment in the comment section below. Guys, I forgot to say, uh, subscribe to the channel so that you can see when I go on live stream. I'm live streaming every Monday to Thursday. You guys can copy my trades exactly. I don't care. Um, and I'm going to teach you exactly what I'm doing. Um, so make sure you got that bell notification on so you can hit it. It's on uh, New York Open usually. Monday to Thursday.